So there are a few things that I want to cover uh, about the design of this unique. Uh, first of all, I did design it as a troll Mjolnir. Um, that was one of the initial ideas I had. Um, I'm a bit of a troll, an actual troll. I like a little bit of harmless fun. Um, I'm not just a dick to someone and call it trolling. Um, I think that a nice simple, you got me type of thing is a lot of fun. Um, and I didn't want it to be a GG endgame unique. But I wanted it to be fairly good, and I think that um, as I go through this uh, guide, you guys will see that uh, it does fill um, it fills a few roles. Um, the uh, the name Camaria Small uh, originally I suggested Americ Small. Um, it's a pun about Mall of America, um, M A U L versus M A L L, uh, because I'm from Minnesota. Uh, I went to high school right near the Mall of America. I've worked three years in the Mall of America, so uh, when a friend mentioned the name Mall of America to me, I instantly uh, gravitated towards it and decided to take it uh, as my unique name. Um, I wanted a critical a crit weapon because um, I play a lot of crit builds, and I felt that in terms of one-handers, there were no options other than do uh, claws or daggers unless you got a particularly good rolled uh, scepter. Um, so um, the gavel base worked for that. Uh, we got a very high crit chance. Um, cold damage because I'm in Minnesota and it's cold up here. And rarity because I like loot and stuff. So uh, I literally just asked for the Windripper mod on it. Um, and uh, the flavor text, you'll have my riches when you pry them from my cold dead hands. That's how I prefer it. Um, flavor wise, I'm really happy with them all. Uh, GGG actually ended up trolling me a bit because the roll ranges on this mall are insanely wide. The, uh, the physical goes from like 140 to 180. The crit chance goes from 15 to 40. Um, I'm actually looking up the the other rolls here. Uh, the the cold damage, uh, the top end goes from 30 to 50, uh, and the cold damage with weapons goes from 30 to 40. So uh, it's actually really hard to find a well rolled uh, Camarias. Um, fortunately, I've gotten my hands on a few because uh, people kind of just underrate the item. Uh, as far as my build goes, I'm doing one-handed ice crash. Uh, it looks like I'm dual wielding, but I'm saying one-handed. And that's because ice crash actually only uses the main hand for the attack. You'll see that I always swing that main hand, whereas other attacks alternate. Uh, ice crash only cares about the main hand. That makes the tooltip value completely wrong, but it also means you can put nice utility items in your offhand. Uh, personally, I leveled with an Ungil's Gouch from level 60 to level 82, which is where I am now. Um, and I have a whole selection of other options here, ranging from the uh, the budget to the uh, to the end game GG uniques. To uh, and we'll we'll go through and we'll test them all out a bit. Um, but this is the setup that I had um, going into it. As far as my skill tree goes. Um, I went with a Scion because they kind of have the most jewel sockets, and jewel sockets are very important um, with this build because unlike daggers and claws, uh, there's limited amounts of crit on the tree. So being able to pick up jewel sockets kind of gives you that extra edge. Um, I decided to go um, acrobatics and phase acro uh, on an evasion kind of build. Uh, that was pretty much a mistake. Um, there were... Um, I was kind of depending on being able to um, to six link a Hiri's ire for uh, for that to work out. Um, in which case, my my six link would have been um, hypothermia uh, just to get the double green. Um, but you'll see that we grab global crit, power charges, life everywhere we can get it, um, acrobatics, phase acro, crit. And then we go over to the Templar for disemboweling, um, the good AoE, life nodes, and uh, another power charge. 
As far as jewels go, um, I've tried to focus on critical strike chance, attack speed, uh, and life. Um, right now this build is a little low on life, um, mostly because I'm wearing almost all uniques. Um, that's just kind of how it ended up after I started equipping things. But uh, this build can be done uh, on a budget. I just, you know, as I, I leveled, you know, at 60 I equipped my mall. At 65 I got a pair of Malagaros. Uh, at 70 I was still wearing a Star Conjas. Um, by 75 I was able to get a Rat's Nest. Um, so I have um, physical damage, crit, crit life. Uh, attack speed while dual wielding, life and a resist. Um, attack speed, crit chance with cold skills, life. Uh, crit chance with uh, crit multi with cold skills, excuse me, life and attack speed. Uh, crit stri strike chance, crit multi, uh, maximum life. And uh, global damage, crit chance and life again. So, like I said, um, I just leveled with an Ungills for the most part in my offhand. So that's what we're just gonna go through and demo first. Uh, this is a strand map, and uh, after after we want th run through this map, I'll kind of go through uh, the rest of my gear and my links, um, just to kind of showcase um, what kind of gear I'm wearing right at the moment. But um, you know. Uh, granted, I'm 82 and a 79, but I, I pretty much freeze and one shot. You know, most white mobs when I crit, uh, rares uh, get frozen. They kind of stagger. That's actually part of the defense of this build. Um, is the fact that I do consistently freeze. Uh, it's not permanent, but it's uh, you know obviously a necro is resist elemental damage, so didn't quite get him frozen. But we're shattering, which means we do get the the 40% rarity off of our mace. And uh, defensively, my build is fairly weak right now. Um, if I were to redo it, I would probably go for a more armor-based build. Uh, maybe maybe even grabbing iron reflexes. Um, but as far as just entry-level mapping, uh, I think that my that my mace whoa fits pretty well. Um, does the job. Uh, like I like I said, I, I leveled from level 60, which is the first level you can equip my mace, until level 82 for the challenge. The entire way I was using Camarias as, as a main hand. Um, oh my god, birds. And right now I'm using Ungills because of the 90% the global critical strike chance and the, uh, oh, our hatred turned off? Whoops. Um, the, uh, the block adds a little bit of defenses and the uh, implicit attack speed while dual wielding. Um, one of the other options is um, a Prismatic Eclipse with three green for the global attack speed and we'll Let's get some mana here, and we'll equip the, um, get Hatred back on. There we go. I think I have some mana on hit in my build someplace, or my gear. But this, uh, this gives you a little bit more attack speed. Uh, you lose out on crit. Uh, you do get a little bit of bonus block, but not a ton. Um, all in all, it's, it's kind of a decent option, but it's, it's not really my preferred. Um, we also have a, uh, just using a, an actual Camarius Maul in the offhand. Uh, this really only provides you with the, uh, the extra cold damage with weapons and the extra rarity. It's not really the way I would go if I wasn't uh, actually MFing, um, as you know, you don't get any global bonuses. So other than the implicit increased attack speed from dual wielding, 
So it's just kind of slow. You feel like you're uh, you're just slamming things. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm not comparing my tooltip DPS um, between weapons. There we go. We got the mana for hatred, uh, and that's because Ice Crash tooltip is actually uh, pretty bugged out. Um, it the Ice Crash tooltip behaves as if you uh, you alternate attacks, uh, but you don't, um, which is why something like a uh, a Vagan weapon in your offhand might uh, give you a higher uh, apparent tooltip, but doesn't actually um, help you all that much. Um, the other kind of budget options are the uh, Lavianga's Wisdom. Just this pretty much only gives area damage. Um, it's a it's a pretty bad option to be honest. Uh, it gives you more area and more uh, damage, but. Um, you know, I, I think the Ungulls kind of have it has a beat for for damage and clear speed, but it's it's definitely an option, especially when you you know you first hit you know 60, 62, and you just want to get into maps as cheaply as possible. Um, it kind of it it and Ungulls really do match up with um, Camarias as far as you know cheap options go, along with Relentless Fury. Whoa. Uh, this gives uh, culling strike and onslaughts on um, on crit, and also prevents you from being chilled on onslaught. So you'll notice that when I crit, you can see huge chunks come out of health pools here, and that's because of the high high amount of critical strike and multiplier I have. Um, although obviously I'm uh, a little defensively weak. But the freezing does uh, kind of help you live through things. Um, as far as my gear goes, uh, this is kind of what I'm. I am at end game, right? I'm 82. Uh, I've made. I've been able to bank currency and um, and save up things. So I've gone with uh, Azuri Step. So I have uh, the full 46% uh, spell dodge. Um, that's part of the reason why I wanted to go with. Uh, here he's ire is my chest piece just never able to quite six link it um just to kind of cap out that dodge and spell dodge uh, i have a pair of molagaros and a rat's nest uh, like i said the molagaros i got really late um i leveled most of the way up with um with just attack speed on my gloves i believe and a starconja's helmet um starconja's hood which gives you uh, a very good amount of life actually and uh 25 percent critical strike chance um, you'll notice that my my uh, my rings my amis are just kind of very good resists very good life because I'm, I'm wearing so many uniques that it's um that's a little hard to, to cap out on resists and get a decent life pool 4k is a little low um, and I'm using a tabula rasa um, for the links I have ice crash weapon elemental damage which is uh, a, actually a core gem for um, Ice Crash itself which makes the cold damage on Camarios a bit better um, than it normally is in a build. Usually you want that uh, you want as much flat fizz as possible so it scales through all your gems and all your auras. Um, this at least gets a multiplier with the wed um, as it scales in. Um, I'm also using increased critical strike damage faster attacks, uh, and a blood magic to run it. Uh, for power charges, I'm using Assassin's Mark with Curse on Hit and Double Heralds. Um, this kind of curses enemies as I approach them and curses enemies as they shatter. Um, both generate power charges. I get them very quickly. Um, we also have you know Leap Slam, Faster Attacks, Fortify setup. Uh, kind of a standard defensive option. You jump in, um, you get that Fortify, and then you start freezing things. Um, we also have uh, a cast and damage taken setup, and uh, I've been just kind of playing around with different things as far as this goes. Um, right now, I'm using cast and damage taken, uh, ice nova, and uh, oops, uh, ice bite, so that we have um, we just have a high fr freeze chance ice nova with an elemental proliferation in there. Um, I'm not sure if it's good or not. 
I've just been kind of experimenting. Uh, as far as what is good though, um, we have two very end game options. And granted, once you have enough money for these, uh, you probably have enough money to upgrade your Camarias. But I kind of just, uh, I, I'm borrowing these for fun, uh, just to kind of see what we can do. And first you have a Death's Hand. Um, this is used uh, as one of the primary items in Ziggy D's uh, kind of Southpaw Reaver build. And that's primarily because it generates power charges when you stun and it gives Unholy Might. Uh, on a critical strike, so we're actually going to just run with this um, through an entire dry woods, and you'll just um, you'll notice how how kind of fast it gets with the um, the unholy might. Um, unholy might scales your physical into chaos, so uh, it's not really ideal for this build because uh, we do have a lot of flat elemental, but it definitely does um, make a big difference. And then uh, with the power charges on stun, uh, we might even be able to switch off to uh, an elemental weakness rather than assassin's mark for for charge generation. Um, just kind of you know depend on the stuns to give us the power charges, and then get damage with the the LA weak. But um, that's just kind of something that I would I would experiment with a little bit more. But I uh, I've been. There's a lot of people out there who uh, who've kind of been hating on my unique, and uh, I do want to kind of show that you know you can throw it in your main hand and still do some damage. Um, kind of, I think a lot of part part of the misunderstanding, at least, is people imagine that if they got my unique, um, that they were they didn't get a Mjolnir, right? That I hurt their drop rate. I think the bosses are in here. Yeah, they're getting chunked. Ooh, I'm getting chunked. was not good about uh, my granite or keeping my fortify up there um, in, in reality uh, having another unique on the on the base especially a more common one doesn't actually affect the uh, the drop rate for the more rare Mjolnir um, the way the way rarity works is it rolls down in tier uh, so first it says all right what's the highest tier thing we can get on this base and that would be a Mjolnir did we get a Mjolnir no we didn't then what's the next highest thing we can get on this? Oh, Camarias! Awesome. Did we get Camarias? Yes, we did. Boom. Uh, if you if my unique was not on that base, your chance orb would have chanced a uh, a rare or a blue item, and uh, your drop would have been rare, blue, or white. So my uh, my mace has nothing to do with you not getting a Mjolnir. That's your own bad luck. I'm just rubbing it in your face a little bit, um, and like I said, I know my item's a troll. I designed it that way, um, but it's really harmless, um, and I, I really do think that uh, well-rolled copies of my unique are, are worth several chaos. Um, they're not a GG endgame unique, but with um, you know, with a little with a little effort, you can make them work, um, or even you know, w without crit. And without um, GG gear, you can still run a resolute technique build, uh, and it's still you know 205 DPS with a very good roll, uh, physical DPS plus a butt ton of cold damage, which gets scaled up through wed, and the percentage cold damage with weapons further scales into your hatred. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of little things that actually make it a fairly useful item um, if if you're looking for kind of a, a one-handed or a dual wield ice crash build um, but at the same time you know it's not a GG endgame unique uh, no matter what unique I created I didn't want to make something that you know uh, you know f 15 people will get um, over the course of a league or you know, even cost multiple exalts uh, I, I want something that people can play around with um, you know people are picking it up on, on budget MF kill, uh, builds and I think that's awesome. Uh, there were examples of people using it with, with Flame Totem, Herald of Ice, and Added Cold. And they were freezing things and shattering them uh, for rarity. So um, I think that there's kind of a lot of little uses for it. 
Um, on top of that, you know, it's just kind of a, it's my, it was my item to create, and uh, it's my favorite item in the game, uh, both because it's a bit of a troll and because um, I kind of like what it does. So that was just me running around with Death's Hand. Uh, the other option is actually Doriani's Catalyst. Uh, this gives you global critical strike chance, uh, much like the um, the Ungils. Uh, but we also have a level 20 Ellie Prolif, uh, which we'll use to kind of defensively freeze a bit. And we have 99% increased elemental damage, as well as elemental damage leeches his life. So uh, we actually primarily do elemental damage. Which makes this uh, probably the best in slot offhand, uh, although it's probably good enough as a main hand as well. Uh, so we're actually going to go into a jungle valley, and I'm gonna, I'm going to try the boss on this map. Um, I've done the boss once or twice with this build uh, with more more budget options. It's pretty dangerous because uh, I have no armor, so I need to keep my fortify up, uh, or I need to freeze. Um, but. Um, I do I do use a granite because uh, a granite with a hundred percent increased armor actually gives me the normal three thousand um, the th normal three thousand armor because I have no other sources of increased uh, or armor in the first place and then it's cut in half so uh, normally it would give me around six thousand but we have acrobatics so it gives me three thousand which is still something like a, a thirty percent. Um, mitigation there uh, and then we get fortify on top of that so we can um, we can we can take a fair bit um, I, I'd like to try this build again with um, a, a better defensive setup um, maybe maybe even non crit just to see if we can do it but uh, I'm pretty happy with the build overall um, and you can definitely pick up you know, other uh, other um, maces or scepters to replace this one, but you, know, you can't you can't ice crash with a dagger. Uh, I don't even think you can ice crash with a claw. Nope. Uh, so you know, if you want to do if you want to do crit ice crash with one handers, sniper thanks for follow man. Uh, I should have turned that off, but you snuck into the video. Um, you know, if you want to do crit one handers with ice crash, you're kind of really limited. Um, that is what you can do. Man, you guys are sneaking into the video now. I forgot to turn off my notifications. Oh well. Alright, we got the Weaver. See, we're, we are freezing a level 74 map boss, alright? Like, that's what we're doing. With Camarias. Keep in mind, the main hand is the only one swinging. We are on Camarias base damage. Um, it's slow, but that means it hits harder, which means we can freeze. And I didn't get one shot, so we win? Yeah, we win. Alright, guys. So, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, this is kind of the, the end game with, uh, kind of the very best gear I could get for the build. Um, apart from the chest piece. But, I, I really do think that if, if, if my mace fulfills a role, um, it's not insane. It's not, uh, you know, multiple exalts, but if you uh, if you chance one and you get a roll that's, you know, in the 170s with physical damage, in the 35 plus with crit, maybe list it for a couple of chaos instead of uh, uh, instead of just vendoring it, because there are people out there who who do appreciate the item and do um, do want to play with it. So don't don't deprive the market of uh, <laughs> of good rolls just because. You're a little mad you didn't get Mjolnir, um, because I'm not the only person who likes my unique. Um, if you kind of if you look through the Reddit threads that have been made about it, you'll see as much positive, if not more than uh, the negative comments. But it is a troll, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, again, I'm Rich Chain Money. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave your comments below.